Once you understand what is MongoDB and how to install it in your local system, let's take a look at how to work with it. So in this lecture, we're going to work with MongoDB using MongoShell. In this lecture, we're going to create a database, create a simple document, and I'm going to update that document and show you how to delete that document. So let's take a look at how to work with MongoDB using MongoShell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Git bash. So here I'm going to just say Mongo and press enter. This will start this MongoDB server with a unique session ID. Just for that here, I'm going to create a new database. As you probably know, MongoDB store its information in documents, which can be printed out as JSON. You would probably like to store different type of documents like users and orders in separate places. This means that MongoDB needs a way to group documents. Grouping a document is what we call a collection. MongoDB divides collections into separate databases. Let me show you how many databases we have inside MongoDB. I'm going to just say a command here, show DBs. This will just print a database list when I press enter. As you can notice, I have four databases inside MongoDB. These are the default database and this is my own database. Just for that, I'm going to just create a new database inside this MongoDB. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say here use to create a new database and then specify name to it, DB user. When I press enter, this will just create a new database. So you will get a message switch to DB user. As you can notice, this is the instance of this DB user. To access this DB user, you just need to specify DB. Now, once this database is created, let me just insert value inside it. So right here, I'm going to just execute a command DB dot users. Users is a document. I'm going to create a document users and call a method insert to insert a record inside this user document. So here I'm going to say DB dot users dot insert. And I want to insert username with value split. Now, just for that, I'm going to press enter. As you can notice, I'm going to have a message write result inserted one. So this value is now inserted inside this user document. Now, if the inserted succeed, you have just saved your first document. In the default MongoDB configuration, this data is now guaranteed to be inserted even if you kill the shell or suddenly restart your machine. I will show you that later. But just for now, just print this data on this Mongo shell. So let me just execute a command db.users.find. This command will print all the data of this user document. As you can notice, I just have this data inside this user document. So when I execute this command, this will print this user data. You can notice here, I have this db as a reference of this db user database. Here you can notice, I'm going to just specify here db.user, the document name, and call a method find. This will just return all the values of the user document. And as you can notice, I have the ID with this value. The ID field has been added to the document. You can think of the ID value as a document primary key to uniquely identify the document. So this will just uniquely identify this document. That is why we have this ID key. Now, what if I exit from this terminal? Let me show you what happened if I exit from this terminal. Let me just press Ctrl C and clear the screen. Now, what I want, I want to get my inserted data. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to say Mongo and press enter. This will start this MongoDB server with unique session ID. And now I want to get all the data of DB user database. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to say DB dot users dot find. If you execute this command, you will get an error message because we don't have anything inside this DB variable. So we need to first initialize this DB variable to get the result. So here I'm going to say use DB user. This will just use the DB user database and initialize the DB variable like this. So this command will initialize this DB variable with DB user database. So down here, I'm going to say DB dot users dot find. When I press enter, as you can notice, you have the data what you want. Now, just for that, what if you want to count the database value? Here you can execute a command db dot users dot count. This method will count the database value. When I press enter, you will get a one because we only have one record inside this user, user document. Now, once you understand how to insert value inside the document, let me show you how to update it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this value. So down here, I'm going to say db dot users dot update. I'm going to call a method update 
and inside this method I'm going to update this value so I'm going to first specify which value I want to update I want to update the username so here I'm going to say username colon and in the double quote I'm going to specify Smith because I want to update this value so I'm going to specify here Smith like this then specify comma and then I'm going to specify curly braces call the dollar sign and then specify set colon I'm going to call here a set operator and then in the curly braces I'm going to say country in the double quote specify the country name Canada close the double quote and close both curly braces as well as the closing parenthesis when I press enter this will update this record so you can notice here how I use this set operator which is set a single field to the specific value the first argument of this update will find the record from this user document and update it using this set operator so once you understand how to update the value let me just show you here I'm going to say db dot users dot find when I press enter you can notice I have the updated data now what if I want to get the prettier data here I'm going to say db dot users dot find and then I'm going to call another method call pretty as you can notice this will just return a prettier data now once you understand how to display data how to insert a data in the document and how to update it let me show you how to delete the data so here I'm going to say db dot users dot remove the remove method is going to remove the data from the document so here I'm going to say remove and in the curly braces I'm going to specify username colon and in the double quote I'm going to specify which value I want to delete I want to delete the Smith data so here I'm going to say Smith close the curly braces and the parenthesis so this will delete the first record from this user document when I press enter as you can notice we have the result so this will just remove this data from this object so now when I specify here db dot users dot find you will not get anything because you don't have anything inside this database now just for that let me just show you how to get the list of collection of the database so what I'm going to do is here I'm going to say show collection when I press enter whoops I think I misspelled something let me just stop the server now I'm going to just say here mongo to start the server again then use the db user database and then I'm going to say here show collections when I press enter you can notice I'm going to have a result users and if you want to get more details about database you can use db dot states like this when I press enter you will get all the information of your database with this db stats variable now this is just a basic understanding of mongodb from the next lecture we're going to create a complete crude application with mongodb database